I mean, Diesel always deliver. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a big Derringer fan. Like, he always deliver. He adds to the Griselda pot. Like, he's like, he's the mice, he's the fucking, the provider of the soundtrack. Normally we would just be hanging out all the time and making music. Now we're like all on schedules and having to like, you know, put things down in the calendar to like really get together and make the shit work. It's been a while since we've all been in the same room together. So we all need to be in the room rather than sending stuff. It definitely works the best this way because we bounce ideas, take this, do this, change that, you know, just being able to all put our heads together and make decisions. Yeah, the you know what, I'll, give, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple of like, different chop variations. And then maybe we can put like a fill or something. Yeah, d -d 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 you know what I mean? Something, I don't know, you know. Get samples like some old other shit, like we could have built up, you know what I mean? Like just throw some like skill, like singing, so. I guess just like try to do two BPMs first and then if. If it doesn't ruin the swing, then we could go a little faster. It's like a collage, man, you know? And also with, you know, sampling on a major level. So it's like, you really have to be, choose wisely. And, you know, especially for where we're at right now, we're, we're um, you know, kind of like taking on a new task of trying to do the shit with just instruments. I'm not the biggest musician, so it's like, I have these ideas, it's just really, you know, dope that I was able to get together with, um, you know, such a talent as B Butcher, who's here with us. And he's able to kind of make all those ideas come to life. Well, that was kind of the idea. The idea was to, you know, okay, they're gonna do an album on Shady, but they don't wanna change what they do, uh, despite not being able to use samples. So that would, that's pretty much why I got, you know, drafted in. But between me and Derringer, it's very collaborative. Like, we're bouncing ideas back and forth the whole time. We're on a good start with, you know, sticking to our, our regular format, but, you know, I definitely, the idea is to definitely try to do a record or two, you know, where they could get into their bag and, and really lock in and tap into the emotional type of thing or just kind of spill the pain out like they normally would. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. Like, because I know Derringer personally and the type of guy he is, his personality, he's not the most outspoken or the most vocal. You know what I mean? Like, he, he in a cut. He ain't on the scene. He ain't one of them on the scene ass niggas. So to see him up there, you know, DJing. I, I went to a couple of the, one or two of the shows and that nigga was up there rocking that shit. I'm, I was just sitting back like, look at my boy. It's like a cult following now, man. It's like, it's wild, man. Motherfuckers look at us like we're fucking, we're gods and shit. Like, it's fucking wild, man, you know? And shit, really, that, you know, I know people have been, you know, wondering what it was gonna be or what we are gonna do if we're still working. Where's the music at? Normally, people are used to us to just putting stuff out, putting stuff out. So now that, you know, we're able to kind of lock in and do the shit with the label, I think they're gonna fuck with it. I, I love it. I, I love to hear all of them together. That marriage is, is dope. They go hand in hand, you know what I mean? Like you, you kind of expect it and it gives it a signature feel. Like that's the signature Griselda shit. There's one. The music part up on it, the drums are still. Yeah, the drums crazy. I don't need to hear that melodies. We gonna do all that either in a mix anyway, you know what I'm saying, right? You want the Yeah, I guess I don't necessarily get a chance to make this kind of music as much. So it's kind of cool to be, to be able to, you know, to do that, especially it's cool to be part of something, you know, it's pretty rare a music of this type kind of reach this kind of level, do you know what I mean? But that's dope, fuck it man, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you've got something that you, that you you know, you've got a sound, it's not, I feel like not a lot of people have their own sound and they really do, which is, which is commendable. You know, just like eerie shit how we normally do, you know, just like shit that sounds dope, shit is coming together. So it's definitely a vibe right now, I could definitely see, see this thing working out. Call some hoes, Danger. Huh? Ain't got no hoes, Danger. She's girl's friends. She's just got extra friends. She's got extra in this friend. You just, you just, yo, bro, you just got off tour, bro. I love that shit, man. You know what I mean? Proud of that man, you know what I mean? He, he, you know,
know, he 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 one of the illest producers we got right now in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Old or new. You know what I mean? I stand on that old nigga, new nigga, whoever. There ain't too many niggas that can fuck with that man in there.